sometimes people just completely break down under pressure and sometimes it brings out the best in you. Alex and I, you know, sit in a room at a table across from each other with our computers and our conversations are the script. That conversation translates to the page and I think makes the material alive. When we agreed to do Star Trek, a tube arrived at our office, a cardboard tube, and we opened it up and it was the poster announcing the release date for that, the following fall. Like, we haven't even, we haven't even opened our computers and there's a poster. racing spirit. Well, the racing spirit is, there is definitely a ticking clock. It's getting ahead of the competition. There's a challenge, there's a goal, but always wanting to be the best. In racing, you learn how to live under pressure. You try to, to be better every day. You got to work with your team because it's not just about the driver. It's about a team that working together for one goal. So the racing spirit is the competition. You overcome every single challenge that you face. You have no fear. And that's what's, I think, iconic about the racing spirit for Honda, is it applies to virtually everything we do. The racing spirit is about unleashing power. We shouldn't just think of it as you know, cars or motorcycles kind of running around a racetrack. And the idea that you set a goal that is so high and the expectation is so high, and then work as hard as you can to meet that. Come hell or high water, at this point, this thing is gonna happen. It made you kind of focus and tune out the noise. You have to tune out the noise and go, okay, what is, what is the thing that I really wanna see? Pressure has certainly made me perform better. The only way to get recognized was through competition. A lot of people will reach the top of their ranks, and then they just cruise. I had to learn new stuff. I had to keep going. I had to risk myself. That's why I started trying 900s. To me, that was the holy grail. A 900 is a skateboard trick. It's basically a two and a half spin in the air. The X Games came around 1999 and they had a best trick event. 20 minutes on the ramp, do your best trick. While I was doing it, I didn't care if it counted. I didn't care if there were no people there. I was either gonna make that thing or I was gonna get taken out in an ambulance. FCX Clarity no Kaihatsu Sekinin Shao Yatimas. Moku ano Clarity to you know a Sekayo Kayu Chikara mo motte na kuruma da to Kaihatsu Tanto Sha to Shita Shinjita Irun Deskedo. FCX no Kaihatsu Hajimeta Tokini. 実は1990、2009年にホンダがジャーナリストの皆さんを呼んで体験試乗してもらうようなバがありました。その時に当時の社長が皆さんに向かって発表しました。ホンダは2003年に燃料電池自動車を実現します。ちょっと思ったのは、
five, ten years before we've got to go all out. It's a race, but with any race, it's, it's an opportunity to, to come up with something new, to provide solutions. We're going through this incredible transitional shift, changing and really challenging the dynamics of what we view as fuel. We're doing hybrids, we're doing every kind of alternative fuel you can think of. We're trying everything. We developed and launched a natural gas-powered Civic. There's an electric car, there's a solar car now, a fuel cell car. A hybrid could be a hybrid of anything. Algae is very exciting, third generation biofuel. Why would you put all this effort into a technology you're not even sure if people will adopt or use? And it's because we know it's right. So, if you think about the next 100 years, what do you think you can't do it alone. You can't do it as one company. There's technology that's not ready. There's infrastructure that's not ready. We need a lot of teamwork in this area. You're talking about an enormously important vehicle for change, but I think that that has to come in the spirit of partnership. When I was on the deck with my, with my top competitors, the guys were all just around me, sort of giving me good vibes. In that, there's a teamwork that they want to see this accomplished because they knew that this would be a milestone for what we do in general. And, uh, and at some point, there's a lot of camaraderie among the competitors, and that's, that's a beautiful thing. I think in our business, ticking clocks are actually very important. When you're under pressure like that, it, it forces you to give your best answer. The Stone Age didn't end because people ran out of stones. And it'd be great if, uh, uh, we can end the oil age, not because we run out of oil, but because we find something better. <laughs>